This answer is powered by AskQuesty.com. Get help with your Squarespace questions or tasks on demand. In this video, we'll be looking at how to add conditional logic to your form on your Squarespace site. So here we have a form where we've already added that conditional logic. If the user answers the question here, do you need a scholarship? If they answer yes, then they can go ahead and complete the rest of the details on the form. However, if they select no, then it just says thank you. All right, so that's what we're gonna do today with our form. So here's what it looks like by default. So whether the end user selects yes or no to the, to the first question, um, they're still asked to kind of complete the rest of the form. And we're gonna stop that action if they select no for do you need a scholarship? and we'll just display a thank you message. And if they select yes, then they can complete the rest of the form. So that's what we're gonna work with today. So the first thing we're gonna do is to enter the back end of the site, click where it says settings. Next, go to advanced. Next, click where it says code injection. Now here in the header portion, we're going to first add some CSS that's going to hide these additional fields that we don't want the user to submit. So to get those fields or get the IDs for those fields, what we're going to do is just right click on the label, go to inspect element. And this will show us the well it'll show us the div for the title but we want to hide both the div and also the the input field so for any name field um, in squarespace where it has like a first name and last name laid out like this um, it's actually covered in a field set and the ID, we want this ID here that says name dash YUI and so forth, because we, we want to get the element that's gonna cover both the first and last name fields. And we wanna hide the entire thing, label, fields, and even you know where it says here, first name, last name. And this field set for the name covers everything. So we're gonna grab this ID here by just double clicking. And we're gonna hit Control C to copy. And then in our header code, first we're going to add our style tags, open and closing style tags, and then we'll add hashtag and control V to get our name tag. And we'll do the same thing for email. Just right click on the label, go to inspect element. And here, instead of a field set, because it's just one input field, whereas the name was two. It's using a div, and we want to get this ID that's here. So we're just going to double click on that, starting with email, control C. And in our code, again, we'll type hashtag control V. And we're going to do the same thing for the subject and all the other fields that we want hidden. Again, double click where it says text on the ID. and Hashtag control V, paste that in. And the very same thing for the message. Right click on the label, inspect element. And here's our ID that covers the entire message section. So we're going to double click on that, control C, hashtag control V. And those are all the elements because here's the submit form. So I'm just going to close this. And as I said, we're gonna hide those. So we're gonna add our curly braces, opening and closing curly braces. And between that, we're gonna type display none. So we're gonna save those changes. And as you can see, all of the fields, name, email, subject, message field, those are all hidden. And we just have our first question and the submit button. So now that that's done, um, 
we need to add that logic to the yes and no fields for the first question. And we're going to do that by adding some JavaScript and some jQuery into the footer section of the site. And your JavaScript code should always go into the footer. So the first thing we're going to do is to introduce or to link some jQuery, the jQuery package to your Squarespace site. So you're going to visit the website code.jquery.com slash jQuery. And I typically use the one that says jQuery core. And I always use the minified version. So we're going to click on that. And we're going to copy the code integration. And I'm going to hit Control C to copy. And here in our footer section, I'm going to hit Control V to paste that in. We can hit Save. So we save those changes. And we've now introduced jQuery into the site. And the next step would be to add some JavaScript that's going to actually uh, take effect when you click on either yes or no. So we're going to start typing that. So we're going to add our script tags, open and closing script tags. And we're also going to add our on click code, which is just dollar sign curly brackets dot click. Then we add function and our curly braces and the closing um, brackets. And we're going to add some single quotes here. And right between this code, we're going to add the, we're going to link the radio input buttons, but we need to get the ID for these radio buttons. So to do that, we'll right click on where it says either one of these in labels and go to inspect elements. Right, and that'll take us directly to the radio buttons. And what we're looking for is this. The div that surrounds the entire radio field. And what we need is the ID. So it's not this one because this doesn't have an ID at all. And what we're looking for is this. This one that starts with ID equals radio dash. So we're going to double click on that and hit Control C to copy. Now close this out. And we're going to add our hashtag Control V to paste, space, and then input. Because we want to target only where the person hits the input field that's in that um, radio button section, radio element section. So whenever someone clicks yes, or no, the first thing we want to do is to get the value of what the person selected. So we can type here selection equals this dot val. So this gets the value of whatever the person selected, and we can test it out by typing alert selection just to make sure we've got it all right so far. We're going to hit save here. And now if we hit yes, it'll let us know the person selected yes. If we hit no, it'll let us know that as well. So that's working perfectly. So we can take this out and proceed with our code. So next we're going to do if selection equals yes. then we want to show the form items that are currently hidden. So to do that, we'll type dollar sign dot show. And between here, we're going to type dot form dash item. And that'll show all of the elements that are hidden, the ones that we hid right above here. It'll just show all these. All right. So once we've done that, we're going to now add some code that says else if selection equals no,
then what we want to do is to replace the in the contents of the form so we no longer want them to submit anything we no longer want them to see this content here we just want to replace this section with a message so what we're going to add is dollar sign dot html add our single quotes here and what we're going to say is replace the form contents the html or the all of the form contents with our message and the message goes here where we're going to just type thank you or you can type any message here so let's hit save and we're going to test that out so first if the person selects yes they'll see all the form out well, form field. If they hit no, that form is replaced with a message that just says thank you. All right, so that's exactly what we want to happen. So it's working perfectly. Was this helpful? Ask a Squarespace question now. AskQuesty.com.